power. Every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function.
And we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, having beaten all eight gyms, is the attack on Plasma Frigate. Now, if you have noticed one thing, we had 20 deaths last time and now it's 21. This is because last time, in a very naive attempt, I wanted to save Blastoise, so I did a reset and I lost Pidgeot. It still left a foul taste in my mouth, so I decided that as punishment I lose both. We lost one in one run, we lost two in the other we lost one in the other resets, and now as punishment I lost both. So I lose both Pidgeot and both Blastoise. We still have plenty of options. But now we don't have any Yon Protect strats. That's gonna be the I guess the punishment, in a way. So knowing that, we have a double battle to plan. And our partner Hugh has his starter, Samurott, and two others. That's it. Only three. And we're facing opponents that each one of them, yeah, each one of our opponents in this double battle also has three. And they open up with a Luxray and a Hariyama. Then we see a Chatot and Electrode on one side. Interestingly, that Chatot has Nasty Plot, Hyper Voice, and Hurricane, and that's about it. And Electrode only has Thunder and Thunder Wave. Which means, if we can afford to leave Hariyama alive and kill off the left side, hmm. Our partner has Wild Charge, Aqua Tail, Drain Punch, and Giga Drain. So Luxray should not aim his electric moves at at Electros. Hmm. What's the safer play that we can use? We don't really have the a best option here. Because of that Hariyama. Hmm. I'm thinking if Zoro Arc. Mm, right, Luxray is a dark type in this version. I keep forgetting. Luxray is electric dark. And against the electric dark, we can use stuff like uh, fighting types, for example. We can use. Um, yeah, fighting ground, bug, and also fairy. Ah. Oh. That's it. That's actually it. The key is to lead with a fairy type. We don't have that many options, to be honest. Um, not that many. In fact, with when it comes to fairies, I think we only have this love disc, right? Mm, I do have Altaria. Right, it's a matter of whether we um whether we bait wild charge or ice fang right and that's about it right we don't have any other fairy type hmm love disc is definitely the fastest and the strongest i'm thinking that this thing can just wipe out luxray off the face of the earth Yeah, I'd say it's gonna be Love Disc to clean the Luxray immediately. The only problem is Hariyama might fake us out, so I need a berry to protect me against Wild Charge, pretty much. Unless I want to bait a Crunch. Too risky, I might as well just use a, a berry or something. Okay, then out comes Chatot with normal moves and flying moves. Okay, uh, normal moves and flying moves. The safer way would still be... Oh, so sad I don't, I don't have Magnezone. Yeah, the safer play is gonna have to be an electric type, so I'll bring Ampharos. 
Don't forget I'm leaving Hariyama alive, that's gonna be the issue. Hmm... I wonder if... If Dusk Noir could take... Mm, I don't know if Dusk Noir can take a crunch and a knockoff to the face. Not to mention he knocks off my zoom lens. Not even worth it. Hmm. Then how do I face that electrode? To face the electrodes, I'm gonna need something like this, right? But not the earthquake. If I could learn something else. Do I have high horsepower on anything except... Except my... Hmm. Oh yeah, also uh, off stream I put everybody at level 70, so we know exactly what we have. This Rampardos is sheer force adamant and has Accelerock. That Accelerock will kill anything. Hmm. We got Fake Out as well. Hmm. Volcarona. Earthquake Crunch. Fake out reversal. Hmm. It's hard to say. Destiny Bond. Close combat thunder punch flare blitz. We don't really have another answer, do we? Yeah, Electro is pure electric static ability, so it has to be absolutely Earthquake. Alright, I guess I'd bring Swampert. <coughs> um, yeah, so Swampert would be number three. Then to handle <coughs> Hariyama, we already have a Fairy type. I think I'd bring not a Flying type. I think I'd stick with Love This given then. Then out comes Steelix. Iron Tail, High Horsepower, Thunder Fang, and Dragon Dance on a sheer force Steelix. Holy moly. Steelix, if I remember correctly, is Steel Rock, right? Steel Ground. It's Steel Ground. Hmm, well, nothing is hyper effective on it. It means you can use fire, you can use water, fighting ground, you're up. But we definitely want to use special moves on it. So it has to be something like surf. Hmm. So maybe I bring out Starmie for it. Iron Tail, high horsepower, the only issue would be Dragon Dance. We'll think about items in a moment. And Axel Gore, that one is Bug... was it Bug Steel? I don't even remember. It's pure Bug. Okay, Axel Gore is pure Bug, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Bug Buzz, and Stream Speed, which basically means just bring a fire type and go ham. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can also bring this rock type. That's good enough, actually. I can just bring this one. Oh, uh, actually, Focus Blast will wipe my Bastiodon. Okay. I'm still not sure if this is gonna go very well. Hmm. Let's see. Can I one-shot a Luxray? Am I fast enough, even? Love Disc at 70 versus a 61 Luxray. And I have Quiet Nature. Okay, and Moonblast. It should absolutely get the kill, but I am assuming perfect IVs. I think I don't have that. Right, it's 163. So that's like 26 about that and I'm definitely faster no matter what so this thing can one shot 
the Lux Ray. Guaranteed. And it attacks first. I don't even need to check Hariyama's speed. The problem is the fake out. Yep, the problem is the fake out. Are there any berries that can help me out? That protect me against fake outs? I don't think so. I know that I think there's something like if you get flinched you gain some stats, but I don't think there's something to combat flinching. Yeah, raises stats in a pinch. If held by a Pokemon, it restores its HP if it's hit by any super effective attack. Could that actually help me out? Wait, how does how does the Enigma Berry work? Do I get healed instead of taking damage, or do I just heal? Let's see... Enigma Berry... Uses in battle. It doesn't really say much. I don't know if I just heal or if I take damage and then I heal. So I might as well not even risk it. Luxray does have wild charge and will kill me. So I really cannot get hit by the Hariyama. The easier play is to bait a crunch and a knockoff. Right. Because crunch would deal about 22. And then Hariyama with the knockoff. At 61. Deals about... 12. All of that just to avoid, just to avoid a dark type move. Hmm. Okay, so if I use... I still need a protection against electricity. Yeah, gives me the Wakamberry. And I bring out... Not star me up first, but you. If I bring out Dusk Noir first, this thing is only going to be weak to dark moves. Actually, this one's even better. Yeah, because then it's knockoff. It could be Ice Fang as well. I mean, but between, between Ice Fang and Crunch. Yeah, between Ice Fang and Crunch, it's gonna be Crunch. Because it's a stab move. So I think I would take Golark instead. So, have Golark in. In that case, I don't even need the Wakanberry, because it shouldn't see an electric move. Any chance my partner's Electros has. No, it has Levitate. Okay. Okay, Levitate. That's two Levitate users. I can use Earthquakes all I want. Yeah, the question is, does it kill? And I guess it's not that safe. Hmm, no. Alright, stick to the plan. Okay, so we have Love Disk, and he's gonna be holding what? Hmm, I guess it's just gonna be a Citrus then. In case of crits, at least we heal a little bit. Okay. Then comes Swampert to handle... No. Against the Chatot, Hyper Voice and Hurricane. It's gotta be Ampharos. Yep. Then comes the Ampharos. And I think to prevent that nasty plot agility thing, I should have... Well, it's probably not going to be faster, even with a choice scarf. That's the issue. Chatot S61 has tremendous speed. 140s. It's in the 140s. Whereas my Ampharos at level 70 has what? 
80, 93, 93, and it might go for agility if it uses this, so I think I'll stick just with the citrus, okay, should kill a chat dot with a single thunderbolt, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then it's a swap to Starmie. No. It's gonna be a, a swap to Swampert. Who can then Earthquake. Okay. And I also have Starmie for... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, this is it. I guess I just take citruses. Alright. I guess this is the team then. We're ready as ready can be. Now it does mean every time we need to make a team we need to go all the way back here. That's the biggest pain. Because it's a long way. Eh, sure, use the max repeller. Route 22, right? No, 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 no. It's Seaside Cave. Yep, 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 yep. I forgot. Okay. Bloody hell, I'm lost. Holy moly. Wasted the whole rappel on that. This way. Oh, not this way either. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bypass you. Good. I have already faced this guy. Yep, so now I can go all the way over here. And Starmie should have surf, right? I love this Kazza. That works too. Good. And back to the frigate. Now there's a double battle out here somewhere. He's going in. Let's go. This is Guts Lux Ray, not Intimidate. And Thick Fat Hariyama. So this now baits crunches and knockoffs. So we swap to Casablanca. Yep, there it is. Was using Wild Charge on the Hariyama. He went for close combat on the Electros, which does devastating damage. And now I can just Moonblast the Luxray. Boom. Excellent. So that's one down. Going in for the Drain Punch might not actually save you, I don't know. Lens a crit. <laughs> okay. And this is the part where things get more complicated. Because now the move set on the right side is different from what I planned. Okay. So Chatot has Hyper Voice and Hurricane. Steelix has Iron Tail, High Horsepower. He has a Thunder Fang. Okay, let's see. We have Love Disk in. 70, Quiet Nature, Moonblast and Surf. Okay. We cannot kill the chat dot no matter what. It has Hyper Voice. It has... Um, damn, what was the flying move? Hurricane. 
Hurricane! Yeah, Hurricane is in range for the kill, actually. We have 107. So we have about 67%. Yeah, Hurricane, half the Hurricane ranges kill. His chatot is probably gonna try and Hurricane us. And Steelix. I actually don't know what Steelix will try to do. Steelix has Iron Tail, High Horsepower, and Thunderfang. Thunderfang. He should not see a kill on me with anything. Electros here might try and Aqua Tail the Steelix. Or Wild Charges the Chatot. So if it's Thunderfang and a flying move, I think I will bring Iron Giant here just to take some bulk. Might lose him too. Yeah, but if it's Steelix in. Hmm. Yep, yeah, swap to the Iron Giant. Went for a nasty plot. Wild charges the bird. Awesome. He went for Iron Tail on... Okay. He saw a kill. That was a crit. Oh my god. It didn't kill, but still. Damn. It's way too much. Okay. Now. Because it's Levitate and... Literally, Electrode can only attack. This is either gonna be Light Screen or Magnetrise, I guess, unless he tries to Thunder Wave the, the Electros. Now, Steelix sees a kill with Iron Tail or High Horsepower. It might even be High Horsepower here. I think. Let's see. This is Golurk at 70. With 243 HP. Okay, 243 and we have 86. 35%. It sees more damage with Iron Tail than it does with High Horsepower. So I will swap to Swampert here. And get some Preage going. Sets up a light screen. Aqua Tails the Electrode, and we avoided it. Excellent. We Earthquake now. Went for Magnet Rise. Oh, son of a gun. Nice Aqua Tail on Steelix. He's Dragon Dancing. Okay. That's fine. It's still extremely slow. I think this is Aqua Tailing the Electrode then. Yep, goes for Thunder Wave on that, which is fine. Done. It's now a 2v1. Ooh, and still lands the Aqua Tail. Well done! God damn. Okay. Now, Exelgore here definitely sees Energy Ball. Yep, it's not even a question. It's Energy Ball. So I'm gonna swap to Real Steel. He's going for Bug Buzz on the Electros, which is okay. That's a good-ass Wild Charge. And I just Flare Blitz. Nice! None of us lost any Mons. That was excellent. Actually insane. Okay. That was a nasty one. Okay. There are no more... Mandatory battles until we get to Zinzolin. So we're not fighting anybody until we get to Zinzolin. Any chance you heal my mods? 
Nope. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Let me get some full restores then. That was an insane iron tail on the iron giant. But we survived. That's what matters. Okay. Um, I'm gonna lead with Infernape because he can iron. Uh, he, he can U-turn. All right. Now to handle the switches. Oh, these are a pain. These are a real pain to handle. We're gonna have to avoid a lot of battles around here. Okay, first teleport is... Nope. Hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, teleports Plasma Frigate. Instead of just going around blindly, just, just show me where they are. Come on. Mm. Maybe over here? Let's see, because I'd rather not have to search for each and every freaking switch, trying every single teleport. Although, to be honest, we might have to, because I don't see that information anywhere. Oh well, guess we're gonna have to. Oh no, I know this ain't it. Okay, this one? Nope. Found one. Nice. Oh, this is BS. Okay, what do you have? Just a crafty 55? Okay. That sucks though. I'm gonna U turn here. Swap into. Casablanca. Yep, went for the dark type. Moon blast ya. And against the light part, moon blast you. Perfect. Alright, so that's every single switch in this room. here. Nice. Let's try it over here. Hmm. Nope. Okay, this one just connects to the previous room. Nope. we will get some heals because this one might might actually catch me. the second one all right excellent so that's two let's go for the middle one top nope this one nope okay, so that's two switches we checked I guess it's an unavoidable battle if I check this. Okay, never mind. Let's go up there. Whew, that was so close. Oh, found the TM92 trick room. Neat. All right, it's gotta be that one.
Good. There it is. Okay, so it's in one of the middle rooms. I'm gonna try this one. Nice. All barriers deactivated. Okay, the only issue now is that there's probably the next fight immediately. I actually found this out way faster than I expected. Now, our partner still has the same mons, so Samurat plus those two. And now we're dealing with Ice types, well, Driftblim as a ghost type, Quillfish, Golem, and Carnivine. Well, I don't see at least Quillfish Explosion Quillfish, so there's that. Carnivine with a Focus Sash, Power Whip, Rage Powder, Sleep Powder and Knockoff. That's Steamroller, and I'm assuming that this one's Hypnosis. Yeah, it's Hypnosis, because you couldn't really see it well. Well, if Electros comes along first, it's gonna focus either or. So I'm thinking... The best way to deal with this opening might be to go water too. Bring out our own water type. Either way, we need to redo the team anyway. Yeah, we gotta get the hell out. Uh, Route 21. Oh crap, and we gotta do this. All of this. Wait, can't I just... No, not really. Oh, right, Max Repel's deactivated. We need a Max Repel. There it is. Okay, so through here. I need to avoid this one. Yep, there it is. Oh, the doctor doesn't actually fight me. That's excellent. Okay, and now back to the focus center. So we can make one more team. Oh, right here. Yet another double battle. Love to see them. <laughs> Could be worse, could be triple. Okay, so, Zinzolin time. There are at least two battles with Zinzolin, I know that, before we even get to Getsis. Hmm, and the whole Shadow Triad. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's see. Wall rain with Blizzard, Brine, Ankor, and Toxic. And the Icy Rock Quillfish. So Quillfish intends to use... Hail, right? Because then Icy Rock will prolong it. To be honest, if it's only Blizzard and Brine, I would rather keep Wall rain. Wall rain alive. And handle the quillfish. Question is, what do I have that could take him on? Because I can't bring grass types, right? And my only electric type is a freaking dragon, so that doesn't help. So yeah, it feels like the better place to start off with Starmie. The Starmie. Hmm. 
Starmie can set up Thunder Waves, for example. The only question is... I don't know how much damage... Well, we have decent defense. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that it's gonna see that my partner is going to see wild charge on Quillfish over Wall Rain. It's gonna see the kill. So I'm fine with that. Yes, I'm fine with that. Okay, so Starmie stays in. Can Thunder Wave? Guess I Thunder Wave the Wall Rain. Give us a chance. And then we're gonna focus on the right side. Starmie can kill a golem, no problem. Even though that thing does have sturdy. If I needed to swap out to another water type just to take that rock slide. Hmm. I do have this one. But it's not bulky. Has battle armor, 156. I think a Cabotops can take this. Let's see, 70 versus a Golem doing a rock slide, for example. It's holding a rock gem. It has rock slide. It also has thunder punch. <laughs> Rock Slide does a lot more, but it'll never crit. On Omastar's case, it still does less. So I think I take Omastar. Hmm. But then what? That's gonna bait Brine or Blizzard from Wall Rain. Problem is I'd be relying on my partner too much. Hmm. I need to actually swap to a water type that can fight. Hmm. This thing can synchronize, but its defenses are horrible. Sturdy. This one is very simple. But he can. Hmm. Has pretty bad stats. It's the thing, too. It has pretty bad stats, though. Yeah, I think I'll stick with almost Star. Swap him, fights the Golem. With Earth Power, I guess. I should teach this thing Surf. To face the Carnivine. Carnivine with Levitate. I'm guessing Bug type. This could be... A speed boost bug buzz. It's gonna bait Blizzard though. Hmm, sleep powder and knock off. Dust stocks, Drodigon. Does have icicle crash. Hmm. Carnivine. I'm thinking it's still Beedrill. Because it has pretty high special defense. Okay, then to face the wall rain, I need a fighting type. I've already dropped Medicham, so I only have one fighting type to help me out. So it's gotta be Infernape. If it's not dead by then. Um, then out comes Driftblim, Acrobatics, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Hypnosis. Yeah, it's definitely Acrobatics. 
So I'm guessing the play to face acrobatics could be battle armor, cabo tops, holding a tress scarf against the Drifblum. And then against Weavile, knockoff, icicle crash, ice shard, and low kick. The easiest one would still be Infernape. Ice Dark. Ice Dark. Mm. Against Ice Dark, I guess I could go Fairy. Yep. It's gonna be this one. Love Disc resists literally everything. Okay, new team for this tag. Sounds good. We just need to plan the items and we'll be on our way. Any item I left behind that's very important? I don't think so. I give everybody pretty much citrus berries. Well, you do have the choice specs. And what else? What else? That's about it. It's a rather unique team. Almost star, cabo tops, love disc, beedrill. We don't need the repel just yet. Get in the damn stairs. Thank you. And I keep forgetting it's not Route 22. It's 21. Keep getting these stairs wrong as well. There we are. Give me Max Repel! Past you. Oh, over here. Whew! He almost saw me. Okay, so over here. And here. Here, all right. I don't think I have Surf this time. Love this, yeah. Almost well, Star doesn't have it. I should actually give it to him. <clears throat> okay. Item check. So, leading up with this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be psychic on the quillfish, right? Because quillfish is probably poison. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, water poison. At 62 versus a Starmie at 70. I did, didn't even really calc uh, doing a psychic. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Starmie is going to handle that. And I think you should just take a Citrus in that case. Then out comes the golem, seeing rock slide and accelerock and thunder punch. Golem at 62. Accelerock holding a rock gem. Rock slide, it's also sturdy. Rock slide and thunder punch. He sees the most damage with rock slide anyway. And then I'd swap out for Carnivine, I guess. Depends on the situation. Okay, so let's see. What else? What else? I have a Citrus Berry on my... Yeah, I have a Citrus Berry on the Omastar. I have a Citrus Berry on the Battle Armor user. This thing has a Lumberry. I guess it's okay against the Sleep Powder Carnivine. Sure. Alright, just give a Citrus to Cabotops and we'll be on our way. Good. Slot number one. Right. 
Zinzolin. Show me what's down there. Kyurem. Dragon Ice, right? Tag team. Quillfish and Wall Rain. Alright. Intimidate sucks for Electros, but not for me. Here, I just want a Psychic. Oh, wait. Right. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot one thing about my prep. That might be... Surf. I forgot Surf. Let's see. Surf, 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 Surf. I forgot to teach Surf on everybody. Okay. Surf. The battle didn't even start. We didn't pick anything. Uh, I guess over Earth Power because it's a stab move. Yeah. Go like that. I think nobody else needs anything else. Alright. And now, now we can go. <laughs> I got the surf now. Electros and Apollo 13 coming in. And here we just psychic the quillfish. We go first. Pretty sure that kills. Excellent. So now Electros has no choice but to wild charge. Yep. Oh, it tried to encore the Electros. Yeah, that's not gonna do enough. In comes the Carnivine because it sees the, sees the Power Whip, right? Yeah, it's about to Power Whip. So, I am going to... Hmm. Yeah, I really have no choice now, do I? Hmm. Real Steel, you're up. Okay, goes for Blizzard, that's fine. It froze Electros, oh no. Okay. Now, let's see. This is going to be... Probably Power Whipping, not me. Yeah, it's going to attack the Electros now. Walrein might try to brine me, so I need to U-turn. That freeze really sucks, though. Brian is a uh, haha <laughs> incoming. Okay, so I am going to bring out Pulp Fiction here. Yeah. We did not take that very well. Okay, did not kill the Electros, that's unlucky. Now it's gonna be a grass move on me. And I don't know what Walrein is gonna pick. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, now it's an issue. Because I don't know... I need to sack the Beedrill now. Beedrill is here to handle... Actually, it was here to handle the Carnivine, right? So I guess I swapped to it. it. Has pretty poor defense, but good special defense to tank the Wall Rain. Go for it. No guts, no glory. Oh, Triana chose to... Okay. Brian's that one. Power whips that one. Okay, good. Good stuff. 
Because now I can actually cross poison this carnivine. Nice. Whew. And the electros is done. Brings out the Samurot, brings out the Golem. I'm gonna trust that Samurot sees the kill on Golem, so I'm gonna cross... Does Rock not resist any of these? Let's see, Crowned Rock against Bug is neutral, so I'm just gonna Bug Bite it. I'm trusting my partner. Ooh, went for Accelerock Rock on me. Well, that was a horrible play on my part. I forgot about it. What did he just try and do? I didn't catch that. I think he just tried to do... Waterfall, right, 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 right. Waterfall. Okay, I'm gonna bring the speedy boy. And here I'm just going to surf. Okay, it's now 2v1 and all I lost was the beadroll. It's not the end of the world. Okay, here I can just kind of force it. Thunderbolt this thing. Goes for Toxic, doesn't matter. We're not staying in. Nice superpower. Alright, nice. In comes the Driftblim. Driftblim here has... Flying Gem Acrobatics. Shadow Ball and Thunderbolt. Hmm. Let's see. Drift Blim coming in with Acrobatics, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt holding a flying gem. It does not see a kill on me, no matter what. Let's see. What about Oma Star? Oma Star takes it well, unless it's a Thunderbolt. But I guess against Starmie it's gonna go Shadow Ball, right? Yeah, against Starmie it's Shadow Ball. And Oma Star takes it. 30 to 36. So I think I'm gonna swap out to Oma Star. Barring crit, it should be enough. Went for my... okay, went for my rival. That's okay. Okay. Here it's probably aiming to Thunderbolt me. That's where he sees the most damage anyway. And I don't really have a way to counter that. Yeah, we gotta stay in. Yep, had no choice, had to sack it. Things are getting worse. Let's see. I forgot to give this thing the choice scarf. Hmm. Can Kabutops survive this? Tops at seven? Yes, Kabutops can survive a hit. Okay. Okay. Losing almost star doesn't really matter. Cabotops is a lot more valuable. How much does an Aqua Jet do actually? Twenty-five to thirty, not good enough. And we shouldn't be faster. I guess I'd just knock off. 
That was a great hit. Damn. Well, now we should be safe. Because he sees the damage on the... Um, the damage on Flygon. So I'm gonna risk a Stone Edge. Perfect. Okay, two deaths. It's okay. We went through two double battles. Whew! We got teleported. <laughs> okay, so we lost Omastar and Beedrill. Not bad at all. Next up is going to be the third visit to the Plasma Frigate, where we have two mandatory battles. And another freaking double. One of these two battles that we're going to do is yet again a double. <laughs> My god, how many double battles? Alright. Giant Chasm, past Route 22, means potential new encounter? Okay. So now that that's taken care of, and they ran away with their tail between their legs... Let's go star me! Honestly, of the entire team, Omastar and Beedrill were the worst ones. If we had to lose two, let it be those. Yeah, I'm not fighting you. Thank you. Okay. Might as well start planning for the next one. The next guy will have a Metagross, Yan Mega, Farfetched, and Giraffe Rake. Okay. But first, Oma Star needs to go here. As well as Beedrill. Good. So, Metagross is my Infernape immediately. Against Yen Mega with Giga Drain. Speed boost 2. I'm thinking either electricity. Electricity might be the play. I think I want Ampharos. Ampharos to handle that. Far fetched. It's gotta be a flying type. We don't really have. Hmm, I guess I have this one. Hmm, it's not very good though. I guess it has good special defense, but its defense sucks. Close combat, leaf blade, poison jab, I can't use this one. It's just horrible. The other option is Swana. At least has better defense. I'll take it, but it's a very valuable one. At least right now. Giraffe Rig is normal ghost, which means pretty much dark types. Foul play, Psy Shield Bash, Double Edge, High Horse Power. So this is either Gothitel. Could also be a Weavile. And that's about it. This thing is ghost normal now, right? So we can avoid double edge. But foul play still sucks. And we have massive attack. Banette is actually insane. Hmm. Resists double edge. Resists Psy Shield Bash. High horsepower cannot affect it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be this one. And I think just in case I bring out Weavile with me. I don't know the calc. I forgot. I do have another dark type. Hmm. 
citrus berry. And I could bait with the illusion that he does a Psy Shield Bash. Right, I can bait something. Uh, I'm taking a look at the... I wasn't showing actually. I'm taking a look at Giraffarig here. If I can bait it to use Psy Shield Bash... For example, this one... What else do I have that is weak to Psychic? Not many, actually. In fact, it's... Might be only Dustox. Let's see. If I'm facing a Girafferig at 62... This is normal Psychic. And has Double Edge. Double Edge and Psy Shield Bash. High Horsepower. Foul Play. What does it see against the level 70 dust ox? The most damage is Psy Shield Bash. Okay. So if I bring the dust ox to stay in the back, that works. Right, the problem is that Zoroark needs to appear before Giraffery even comes in. Illusion is more useful if you're playing in switch mode instead of set mode. Thing that's going to be facing far fetched is going to be you. Doesn't really help out now, does it? But it's never going to use high horsepower. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. This is Infernape Flare Blitz on the Metagross and it dies immediately. Ampharos can just use Thunderbolt on the Yan Mega. Because it can resist Aero Slash and Giga Drain, it can only use Bug Buzz. And Ampharos at level 70 versus a Yan Mega Bug Buzz at 62. 28 to 33%. Whereas one Thunderbolt from us kills. So Young Mega probably comes in seeing Air Slash, we swap. Then out comes a Girafferig for the high horsepower. I can swap to Swana. But then I don't know what it's gonna do, and I don't really have the upper hand. What can Swana do against the Girafferig at 62? The ability is also Sap Sipper. This is what? That's 70. Double edge. Psy shield bash. Foul play. High horsepower. Okay, so it sees Ampharos. It's probably a free switch in. Double edge will then deal 43 to 51%. Whereas I, best thing I can do is stuff like Surf, which does do a lot, and I should be faster. So if I equip a Choice Specs, 100 to 118, it should be close. Close enough to be willing to try at least Choice Specs. Then out comes the Giraffe Rig. Uh, not the giraffe rig, actually. Out comes Farfetch'd. Going in with... Close Combat. Poison Jab. Acrobatics. And Leaf Blade. Most damage is Acrobatics. If most damage is acrobatics, then the play is to swap to High Dragon, which then baits close combat. 
which then swaps to this guy. And I can will o wisp And in case I need anything else, I can then bring out my other flying type. Or I just focus on the fact that it's also part fighting and I keep the love of the skin. Alright, this is gonna be the team. We've got a long way to go before we can actually get to get this. Hidden Grottos. There is a Hidden Grotto on Route 22, northern part that's only accessible using the walkways. And I don't think we have that one. There's also one in Giant Chasm, I think, and one in Route 23, but those we'll get to those when we need them. Route 22, though, we probably now have access only through the walkways, so I know I haven't done this one. By the way, uh, let's never forget the Max Repelt. <laughs> we already have this encounter anyway. Though I don't remember what it was. So I'm assuming we have to go up there. I've already faced this one, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. No need to face this guy. Only accessible through the walkways. Doing that strength is an option, but... Wait, can I? Okay, never mind. I was thinking if it was possible. Now, I don't know what this one has. I know for a fact I haven't faced it. But it should be in the 6th... Well, actually, it should be a pretty decent fighter. Um, let's see... Route 22, right? Actually, it doesn't say anything about being mandatory. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't say anything about being mandatory. Weird. It definitely is. Coming in with the crowbat. Yeah, I remember this one. I remember this one. It's marked as optional. Let's see, where is it? Route 22, Luca. Yep. Let me change that mark in the documentation, because it's incorrect. Level 60. Brave Bird. Well, it's gonna be Brave Bird, so... This is an immediate swap. We resist it very well. I am going to take this opportunity and do Stealth Rocks. Okay, great. Missed that hypnosis again, thank you! Wow, that was fantastic. It missed three hypnosis on us, wow. We got off really lucky. In comes Lucario. Trying to do close combat, right? So this is a free switch into this guy. And I'm going to use Will-O-Wisp here. I'm slower. That was a crit. Son of a gun. Well, now he's only going to try and do that. Because he's burnt. So I think this is a swap to Casablanca. Yep. Now you can't do that. Between Blaze Kick, Bullet Punch, or Close Combat, I mean... I'll just Moonblast. Yeah, it's normal damage because it's part steel. 
Levani coming in for the Leaf Blade. So here I'm just gonna swap, right? Levani has Agility, Lunge, Leaf Blade and Psychic Fangs. So, Real Steel comes in. We took it well. Flare Blitz. Done. And Ludicolo, I'm just going to U-turn. Oh, and it kills. Nice. Got the 71. Alright. That was pretty good. Heal everybody up. We took it really well, actually. Damn. There's still a bunch of fights. There's still Colrus. Let's see. I am looking for the walkways. Yep. Specifically these. This one. Yep. Right here. Max push. Okay. And now we gotta take the long winding path. Just don't fall. See? Don't even need to stop. And from here... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Something is in here. There it is. Found the narrow path. Encounter. Oh, it's a Mian Fu. So I think I'm gonna go with this against the fighting type. Makes sense. And we just will a whisper. Boom. <laughs> or a sphere doesn't work against me, buddy. But if he did that, maybe it's because that's all it has? Maybe. I think... What am I gonna call this one, actually? Uh, I already have Rocky for fighting, but I guess I could go with Raging Bull. Yep, that's another bo boxing movie. Raging Bull. This would make more sense on a Tauros. Still, I'll take it. <laughs> Good. Sure. Welcome to a new area, which means new encounter. Giant Chasm. Now, this one's actually important. We should take a look. Um, we have Giant Chasm, right? Giant Chasm... Hmm. Giant Chasm, yep. Tangela or Swallow, 20%. <clears throat> and there's another Tangela at 10%. What the hell is this? Oh, but I guess this is in the... Okay. I'm actually looking for the cave. In a dust cloud you can get a Lunaton or a Soul Rock. Hmm. What do I need the most right now? If I'm taking a look at this and the... Uh, oops. The hell? There we go. Hmm. It's either entrance cave or the grass shaking spots. I wouldn't mind a flyer. I could use another flyer. I can't really take Colbat. Deli Bird doesn't excite me. Um, other than that, I'm not really interested in Lunaton or Soul Rock. I still have other bulky options, though not many. 
I think I'll wait for the grass one for the chance of getting a swallow. Or I just stay in for Lunatone Soul Rock. Are they even any good? Rock Psychic. Mm. No. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait. We just gotta be careful not to hit any dust clouds. Good, so this place is clear. <clears throat> right, I need the TM strength. Strength is up here. Nope. <laughs> Wait, really? It was up there? Damn, it actually was. Strength. Uh, instead of what? Sure, instead of Earthquake, I guess. Yep. Right, and this is how you can get all the way down there. But I don't want to do that just yet. There's still stuff around here. Oh. Really? That rock has nothing? The hell? Ice beam? Yep. Saw it coming. It's the same as vanilla. I'm pretty sure that ice beam is right there. So that takes care of that side. Okay, good. Avoid the dust cloud. Now, why is this here? Damn, really? Okay. Let's see... Outside? Okay, so this is Giant's Chasm, but 13, right? Route 13. You can see that the, um, the the overlay didn't change to tell you, hey, this is Route 13, this is still Giant's Chasm, but in the grassy area. So I think I'm gonna get my Giant's Chasm encounter here. Uh, okay, I have this one as the first one. Excellent. Okay, this is actually Route 13. Yep. I can push this boulder now. Makes my life a little easier. Oh, and I can get this. TM32 Dazzling Gleam. I already have that. Yep, Giant Chasm outside. Okay. And the encounter in Giant Chasm is... A Clefairy. Okay. Okay. I can accept that. Will the Whisper. Yeah, I'm pure ghost. That shouldn't do that much. If I was dark type though. Yeesh. Clefairy. I'm gonna call her... I think it was... Oh, uh, what was it? Mm. Was it Madeline? No. It's a really old movie though. Yeah, Madeline, sure. It's a really old movie. Good, so that takes care of that chapter. That's another fairy type, it'll have its uses. This 
is an item. Yep, had to be. There was no other explanation. It, it just had to be. Let's see what this one is. Eh, just a max repel. Don't. Well, I can enter this, yeah. Now it doesn't matter, because I've already caught the Pokemon. You guys are blocking it, right? Yep. Hey! There was actually something there. Found a star piece. Man, that's already two star pieces. In comes the soul rock. That's weird, okay. Ah, found the heartstone. Oh my god, how many of those do I have? Okay then, now we can go right in. Which means through here. Alright. We now need Earthquake. Back. Earthquake is right there. You don't need strength anymore. And now for the order of Pokemon, since what we're about to face is... Damn, I uh, went way above. Third visit. Okay, we've handled Kyurem's contain containment room. Now it's this guy. And then we face a double battle with no support. Ooh, that'll take a while. That will take a while to plan. Good. So let me get this guy over here to kill the Metagross. You are to kill the Yanmega. To kill the Feedest Farfetched. Well, against Giraffarig, we already know it's gonna be the. This guy, right? Right. Because I can then. Oh. Actually, who is it gonna be? No, it's this one against Giraffarig. Yeah, Beverly Hills Cop fights Giraffarig. And against Farfetch'd, I'll bring in this guy. Yeah. Okay. The other ones are for pivoting. Now, I do need to make a couple of checks. Can Infernape get the kill? Wait a minute. Wasn't there a giant chasm near the entrance to the forest? Damn, there's another encounter, I forgot. Okay, then hold on a second. Uh, let's get you up first. There was another encounter I missed. Near the entrance to the forest. Nope. Okay, so it should be somewhere around here then. see it. I guess it's gonna be at the area where I actually fight them. Okay, uh, then back to checking. Can Infernape actually kill with a Flare Blitz? Should be able to. Metagross. Team Plasma Grunt, yep. And this is Infernape. At 70, going in with a Flare Blitz. This is Adamant Nature. Okay, special attack is 31 IVs, I think. And I need... It's not gonna be enough, it needs a Life Orb. Life orb. 
Why am I searching for an item in the move section? Life orb. Life orb makes it enough. So that's what he needs. I am looking for a life orb. There it is. Okay. Um, this one should only need citrus berry, that's fine. Then uh, to face the giraffe rig. You have a choice specs, because I know you kill and you're faster. And you need the zoom lens. Yep, everybody else is just carrying citruses, right? Right. So it's all good. Alright, time to face the music then. We're facing a Plasma Grunt 724. Who gave them these numbers? Oh, here we are. Please, for the love of God, do not tell me it's a gauntlet, otherwise I have to go back and replan the whole freaking thing. <clears throat> Alright. Go time. Incoming. <laughs> Flare Blitz. Bam! Excellent. Whew. And against Giraffe Rig, I'm just gonna U turn. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I didn't expect that. Uh, what is he going to bring next? Young Mega or Far Fetched? I can bait far-fetched close combat by swapping in this guy, Bastiodon, aka Lion King. Yep, there it is. So now I know it's close combat, which means it's a free switch into my Dusk Noir. There it is, and now I can just Will-O-Wisp you. That was a high crit ratio, that's fine. We survive another crit. This thing is not normal type. This is fighting flying. Level 62. And I have an Iron Fist Dusk Noir at 70. Who has Thunder Punch? Shadow Sneak. It's definitely Thunder Punch. Alright. Awesome. And in comes the Yan Mega. Yan Mega might see you kill with anything at this point. So I think since it has Bug Buzz, Air Slash, Giga Drain. Yep, I swapped to the Lion King. Yep, we took it excellently. All we need is to hit a rock slide and we're done. Yeah, it's just gonna detect. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's already faster than us anyway. The speed boost is not doing it any favors. Excellent. So that takes care of you. Max revive. Okay, and we're still here, nice. So, get everybody healed up. Um, we'll probably need to fly anyway. Speaking of which, I need fly. <laughs> Pretty sure that fly came before all of these, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I also have ice beam, need to take a look into that. You're gonna learn fly over protect. Okay, so now we can fly, that's all good. 
the next battle is a double battle again I got so many double battles and there's more this is not even the only one left because after this we're still gonna face Not sure if this if this is a double battle or not, actually. Not sure. Yeah, but there's still gonna be a double battle. But slowly but surely, we're cleaning them up. We're gonna need an ice type. Do I even have any ice types? I don't know. But I do know that this since this is close to the entrance to the forest, there might be. The giant chasm encounter might be around here. Found a razor claw. <laughs> uh, well, nothing here. Found a moonstone. Oh, we did catch a clefable. Oh, you mean I didn't have... Okay. I thought I actually had um, the repel. Whee! From here and like this, like this, like this, like this. Alright. The battle might trigger right here, so uh, <laughs> let's take it easy. Alright, so what do we need? For this upcoming battle, we need, well, to face a Gliscor, it's a Gliscor and the Escavalier, Escavalier. What's Escavalier's typing? Bug Steel. Okay, so Bug Steel dies to fire immediately, but the Gliscor is there with um, Rock Climb, Guillotine. Damn, Guillotine, really. This cavalier has razor shell, iron head, and mega horn. And we're not fighting with a partner, so I can have two. Okay, I take control of the whole fight. We gotta go back to plan this. Back to Humilo. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we did get two new additions, right? Right. Pure Fighting Mian Fu. Quirky Reckless. Powers up moves with recoil damage. So, maybe you learned some. And we also got the Clefairy. Belly Drum, Moonblast, Seismic Toss and Wish. Magic Garth can only take damage from attacks, so stuff like Leech Seed and Poison, Burn, won't work. That's a good-ass ability. Okay. Left side Gliscor. Do I have any ice types? That's the first freaking question. Yes. The only problem is it's dead to a Mega Horn from his Cavalier. Unless I can ensure I attack first. I need to attack the Escavalier. So this should be this guy. And Infernape as the leads. This is Duck Trio Sand Force, so we are not trapped. And we should absolutely kill first the Gliscor. Even with a nice shard, it should kill, to be honest. Then out comes Machamp, aiming at Weavile. Out comes Duck Trio, aiming a high horsepower to my Infernape. So I need to swap to a flying type. It's either a flying type or my Starmie. Yeah, because then I don't take damage from Stone Edge. So I think I need Starmie. Okay. So Starmie to take the damage from a Drain Punch. Because the one I have in the lead is... 
Right, Weavile takes hyper effective damage from a Drain Punch. It's guaranteed Drain Punch from the Machamp. And the right side... Doug Trio. Yeah, and Doug Trio is definitely gonna see a kill. But it could be could be Stone Edge too. Unless I bring out Volcarona. Because Volcarona definitely baits a Stone Edge from Doug Trio. Instead of Infernape. Yep, because rock types are hyper effective on Volcarona. So then swap to Starmie here. It's gonna be faster than Machamp anyway. I can land a Psychic and kill it. And then I need to swap to something that can take a Stone Edge. And it's looking like Cavatops to me. Yep. It's looking like Cavatops. Now, I'm gonna try and, with the Calc, see if I can create a situation where we absolutely kill both of them. And then there's no choice but to bring out Cryogonal and Pidgeot. Cryogonal is going to see Flash Cannon on the Cabotops. And Pidgeot will see... Probably just Air Slash or Hyper Voice. Which means I can swap... Hmm... Actually, I should still be faster. Hmm... If I had to swap out, who would it be? I'd need an Ampharos? Ampharos is not a very good idea. Hmm... Against Ampharos, Archaeops could be a pretty good option. The only issue I have with Archaeops is its pitiful defense and special defense. This thing kills, it's very fast. Whatever it, whatever it faces, it kills. But then the play will be Lapras. Yeah. Lapras against the Pidgeot. And against Cryogonal, I think it needs to be the Bastiodon. I think this works. I just need to create a situation where I absolutely know I kill everything. We need to get two kills at every turn. Hmm. Okay. So I am now facing a Gliscor. Level 64. Has. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is Weavile. Weavile at 70. That's 201 speed, but my nature sucks, right? Because I am quiet nature. So that's minus speed, and I have horrible, horrible IVs. That's 162 speed. And... 187 attack, okay. 162 speed, 187 attack. That's zero IVs in speed. Okay, and Weavile has Ice Shard, which is not enough. But if I'm holding... And that's the thing, if this thing is, for example, even if it's Jolly Nature with 31 IVs, Gliscor cannot be faster than me. Okay, that's good. So then... It's not enough with an Ice Shard, though. But I know I'm faster anyway, so I can risk an Icicle Crash holding a Wide Lens. So let's see, where's my Wide Lens? Whew! Wide Lens is... A far, far... Oh wait, god damn. Nah, I definitely missed it. Yep, I missed it. Alright. Okay. Wide lens is somewhere here. 
Is it in the dead box? No shot, right? Is it? Ooh, damn. Charcoal is here. Spell tag is here. Magnet. A lot of important items are in here. Yep. There's my white lens. Okay. So you take a white lens. That way Icicle Crash will never miss, and I know you're faster. Okay. Then there is the Volcarona. Has 166 speed, so it's even faster than my Weavile. And it's facing a Scavalier. Who is slow. Holy crap is this thing slow. Okay. No concern there. And Volcarona can kill with a flamethrower, right? I mean, it has to. It's hyper effective, so. Okay. Uh, this thing is Calm Nature. Plus special defense minus attack, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So we absolutely kill the first two. Okay, then Starmie is going to just take a Drain Punch to the face. This is 64, Machamp. We're definitely faster anyway. Get a Psychic going. It's almost enough, but not quite there. Okay, so let me see. This thing has Wide Lens, this thing has only a Citrus. That's fine. Although I wouldn't mind giving you a... A charcoal just for the sake of it. And where is the charcoal actually? Charcoal, charcoal. There it is. There it is. Okay. Can Starmie holding a twisted spoon shouldn't be enough? It's just a minor boost. Starmie has a quirky nature, so it's neutral anyway. So it needs a life orb, pretty much. Yep, has to use a life orb. And given that I have... Uh, 155, 182. Okay, need to check that. 182, that's like, what, 26? 100.9% to 119. Okay, we can handle them at champ, no problem. Then out comes the Doug Trio going in for the Stone Edge. I wouldn't be surprised if Doug Trio had such an insane speed, I just couldn't match it. Yeah, Doug Trio does. Yeah, Doug Trio does have it. 194 with the Stone Edge move. Hmm. Stone Edge and High Horsepower, right? Okay, he shouldn't see High Horsepower. He should see Stone Edge. That's 31 to 37. We take it well if he attacks the Starmie. But 194 is actually insane. That means my Cabotops at level 70 is going to need a choice scarf. This is Careful Nature. And what does this look like? Stone Edge. No, Waterfall, of course. 128, 175, okay. Uh, one twenty eight and one seventy five Nope. It's like fourteen. Okay, one seventy five and I have waterfall. Waterfall kills, I just need the choice scarf. Yep. Ooh, wait a minute, even a choice scarf is not enough. 
might not be still worth the risk, to be honest. I'll give him a try scarf. I'm always assuming they have perfect IVs, you know how it is. Yeah, I will take the choice scarf. Okay. Hmm? Stone Edge deals about 30%. We can take that well. We just need to ensure that we're faster. What's gonna happen here is that he is then going to see high horsepower on Kabutops. I might even want to swap out. High horsepower on Kabutops. I killed him a champ, so Cryogonal comes in. I think we're going to be facing both Cryogonal and Doug Trio at the same time. I think I want the birth. Yeah, I think I want the birth in here. Because then I swap to the birth and I surf. And I need Protect on Starmie instead of Recover. I'll do that before I forget. Protect, Protect, Protect. Over Recover here, yep. Alright. <clears throat> no. Cryogonal is probably going to see Flash Cannon. No, because I'm Water type, it's going to see Icy Wind. Mm, yeah, it's gonna miss. And this thing is not fast enough. But if I give this thing the choice scarf. Now we're talking. It's guaranteed faster then. Choice scarf. So now that I know I'm faster, what happens if Swana uses Surf on a Duck Trio? It kills. Okay. And with a Choice Scarf, we're faster, so it's fine. That is going to leave Cryogonal and then Pidgeot coming in. So I'm gonna swap to this one. While Starmie is still in. Yeah. And this is gonna be pretty much Avalanche's. If I can afford to swap to Volcarona, for example, that could also be a way. Assuming I know for sure there is no rock type move incoming. Make sure everybody has the right stuff. Let's see. Item check. Schindler has the wide lens to make sure that Icicle Crash never misses. Charcoal. Citrus. Because that's all you need, right? Wait, no, 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 no. This thing is Life Orb. Yep, I remember. And I forgot to take Life Orb out of my Infernape. He is over there. Okay, good. Starmie, take it. Life Orb. Yep, excellent. Cavo Tops will only take us. Yeah, Cabot Tops, I guess, takes a Citrus and that's it. Or just take a protection against a ground type berry, just in case. Yep, you can take a Shuka berry. Choice Scarf, Citrus, that's good enough. Alright. I think it's ready. to go up, right? Yeah, we go up. 
much faster to go this way. Wait, didn't I? No, I never pushed that. I never pushed that stump. That's okay. Just means we're gonna go here. Yep, I don't care about this guy. Already faced this one. Good. Whew. And now we go here. back in all right let's see if this double battle goes as planned go on ahead all right i don't really know where i'm supposed to go <laughs> can't release this guy hmm I'm pretty sure I don't go up here nope oh yeah this is the double battle yep the ambush All right, Schindler's List and Ace Ventura. We don't need the Ice Shirt. This is Icicle Crash and Flamethrower. Oh, Glisco protects. Crap. Huckleberry doesn't even matter because that was a crit. Okay. Duck Trio here should see a kill on Ace Ventura. So I swap to ho, 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 ho. the Matrix. Yep. That's the play. Excellent. Goodbye. Awesome. So this now should be Swapping in for Apollo, because I can stay in and I can immediately... Actually, here I swap out, right? Yep. Here I swap out for Beverly Hills Cop. Okay, and they go with... The trio protected. Emma Champ used the Drain Punch on a Psychic type. Excellent. So now I can Psychic you. And I... I gotta surf. Excellent. Awesome. In comes Pidgeot and Cryogonal. So now I am going to... I'm gonna protect this turn to see if they attack me. Because this could be Pidgeot aiming at me. Bring out Life of Pi. Okay, Cryogon will waste of a turn. Hyper Voice. Okay, took it well. I think I need to swap Starmie out. Um, let's see. If it's choosing to use normal moves, it's safe to bring out Ace Ventura. So I'll do that. And this one is going to just avalanche the Pidgeot. Okay. Prox the berry. That's a stab 120 ice type. Excellent. And now I can just flamethrower the cryogonal and thunderbolt the cryogonal. It's using flash cannon though. I'm gonna protect. He did the same thing. Okay. And thunderbolt here. Okay, it's 
replacement for flash cannon. It's fine. Crygon's massive special defense is not enough. Whoo! No deaths on this double battle. Nice. Given this is the third ambush, I'm pretty sure this is the last one too. I think now we only have three major bosses. Zenzolin, Colrus, and Getsis. I think that's the remaining ones to clean the team. This team once and for all, Team Plasma. But to be honest, I don't think we're gonna... I think we're gonna need to, you know, plan for the next one, which means this team is not gonna be good enough. Using Volcarona to bait the Stone Edge was a pretty good idea. Okay, everybody is optional. There is only one low ground mandatory fighter. Sharpedo and Perugly. And come on, we should have the weapons for this, right? No? No, I do not. I have a lot of water types. Yeah, not good enough actually. It's not good enough. So I should go back to bring out the right guys. I need a fighting type. At least one. I'll grab that Mian Fu. Oh, I can't use that here. <laughs> Fine. Just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. So, back. Show me... Show me a fighter. Okay, I will take the new guy, the Raging Bull. Uh, you can lose the Cabotops. Against the Perugly, you really only need another one, but I guess I'll take Infernape just in case. Um, like this, and I will take Bastion. Give me a Ghost type. Go with this team for now, maybe it's good enough, maybe it's not. For any other battle we're not foreseeing, probably not. We probably need something else. Rare candies. Oh, he doesn't evolve, okay. Jump kick. Um... This guy is quirky nature, more attack than special attack, so he should lose the aura sphere, absolutely. We can always teach him Brick Break anyway. Evolves at level 50. Mian Shao. Alright, we got the Mian Shao. So this thing is meant to be a sweeper based on the stats. It's meant to be fast and just kill. Blaze Kick is decent. Did you change your ability now that you have evolved? No, it's still reckless. Okay. Assurance, payback. Yeah, we should lose these and get some better moves. White guard, no thank you. High jump kick, which means you're gonna...